Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I am Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X research and professional physicist. And today I'd like to bring to you another one of my articles. This one is entitled, Planet X is here and having real effects on the Earth. Now I've been writing articles about the Planet X system of stellar cores, a system of dead stars affecting our solar system and planet for many months. And I've gained a lot of understanding about how the universe really operates through this research. However, this understanding has come at a price. Soon after I began writing about Planet X, I began to be targeted by the establishment at the University of the Witwatersrand where I worked. I was forced to leave eventually. People have also tried and sometimes been successful in befriending Scott and I and then turned against us and our work. Now, the only reason I think would, uh, that anyone would go to this kind of trouble would be because the planet X system of stellar cores um, is a threat to them, if not to them personally, then to those who they answer to or work for. However, the attacks in themselves indicate that the Planet X system is real, because if it wasn't real, why would they put so much effort into disputing it? When these powers that be are not successful with their current tactics, they try new ones. One of the current ones is to claim that the Planet X system is a holographic projection. Now, there is evidence of a lot of holographic projection technology being used on Earth, and I have written many articles about it. However, as I stated in Article 428, the previous article, the objects come toward the Sun as comets. And you can see a comet here in this photograph from 1910. This is Comet Haley. And of course, um, the sun was still, sh the real sun was still shining in the sky then. So this comet was real. It couldn't have been a hologram. Now, and the sun has only recently been replaced by a simulation. And most of us still remember having the real sun in the sky. It was yellow, perfectly circular, and did not burn our skin as this fake sun does. So these comets that have been coming in uh, into the solar system and are actually the planet X objects and have been observed for thousands of years cannot be holograms. They have to be real. Another proposal by these refuters is that the ocean recession events that uh, have been occurring on Earth and that are unprecedented are actually caused by the Moon, either by it moving very close to Earth or disappearing entirely. However, the Earth continues to have normal ocean tides, so the real Moon has to still be in its place, in its orbit around the Earth. And so, whilst we having normal uh, tides in most places on Earth, and at the same time we're having these ocean recession events that we see here. So it's impossible that these events are caused by the same object. The Moon cannot cause normal tides in a certain place on Earth and cause an unprecedented ocean recession event somewhere else. That's just clearly impossible. In addition, uh, some of these recession events take a lot longer than the moon's tides. They take over 12 hours, but a lunar tide goes from high to low in six hours. And so the minimum of the tide cannot last any longer than about one to two hours. And these tidal events last much, much longer than that. This one was in Uruguay in August 2017. This one was in Brazil. And you may look at Article 227 entitled Stellar Cores Affecting Earth and Possible Connections to Volcanic Eruptions for more details. And high tide events have occurred as well where the ocean invades the land. And uh, the ocean recession events are tidal in nature and can only therefore be caused by an object other than the moon closely approaching Earth from space. Tidal forces are differential gravitational forces caused by massive objects closely approaching Earth from space and exerting a much stronger force on the Earth's ocean right underneath the object than elsewhere on the ocean. So this object is causing a tidal force on the ocean and that's giving rise to a tide. And it causes a high tide and a low tide because the gravitational wave or gravity itself is a wave 
and it has highs and lows. And that's what a wave is. A wave has hollows and it has high points. So you get a high tide and a low tide. And that is because the gravitational wave is a density wave and it has uh, regions where there is a high density and it has regions or alternate regions, a region next to it that has low density. So the fact that Planet X objects uh, cause ocean recession as well as high tide events that already suggests that gravity is a wave and this gravitational wave therefore has bulges and hollows in it. And as I said the bulges are regions of high density and the hollows are regions of low density. So the gravitational wave is actually a stationary density wave or a stationary sound wave. A sound wave creates regions of different densities. So this wave can affect the solid ground as well and this is what leads to the earth fissuring and breaking up as it has happened in India recently and you see a photograph of that here where a road lifted up and broke into pieces. This can only be caused by the gravitational effect of one of the stellar cores closely approaching the Earth and moving over this area. And you may look at Article 426 entitled Planet X causing the ground to break up in India for more details. This illustrates what actually happens. The stellar core generates this gravitational wave which then moves over the ground as the stellar core moves and it creates alternative uh, alternate regions of high and low density. There's a high density in the middle and low density regions here and that causes the ground to contract and expand as the wave moves through and then that causes fissures to appear and the ground to break up. So the effects that the Planet X system is having on the Earth are real. A hologram would not give rise to ocean recession events or to a road suddenly lifting and breaking. It is therefore illogical to suggest that the planet X system is a hologram. Now another tactic, um, a recent tactic, is to suggest that satellite and spacecraft images showing the Sun are not real and you see some of these here. But um, to suggest that they are a simulation, but that is clearly impossible. What we see here, the many, many details, billions and billions of small pieces go into uh, these images. And these are just a screenshot of da a data stream that shows the sun evolving and progressing over time as well as rotating. And it shows a turbulent atmosphere of the sun and over time it shows the fact that the sun is losing its corona. And so this is impossible to be simulated. A simulation would only show a few details. Whilst these images are seen in various wavelengths and showing complementary details of the Sun in the different wavelengths. And a simulation would only show a few details and there would be discontinuities all the time to be observed. So these are real images of a real Sun and no one who has studied these images for any length of time would be able to suggest anything else. It is clearly a star evolving over time. Thus the STO and the SETI images of the Sun show the real Sun. It is possible that the images, uh, it's possible they may be older than the time stamps would have us believe and I've written about that, but they cannot be simulations. They are images of the real Sun. Furthermore, the SDO images show the Sun's corona has greatly decreased in size to size set over the seven years of images that we've been shown. And that gives us observational evidence of the Sun's decline and why is the objects which have been consuming the Sun's corona and its ability to, re to regenerate it are often also visible in the images. And you may look at Article 418 entitled Planet X Dust Replacing the Sun's Corona and Earth's Atmosphere. And you see one of these objects here in the Sun's Corona 
and these objects remain very close to the sun for extended periods of time and they draw material from the sun they make a gravitational vortex connection with the sun through which they draw material from the sun then the fact that ocean recession events last as long as they do uh, suggests that these objects are also approaching a certain region on the face of the earth and are remaining over it for an extended period of time and are thus reacting in the very same way that the stellar cores observed in the sun's corona do. Thus it seems that the powers that be like to tell us the truth in very obvious ways through showing us these SEO images, but they do not like us to understand that truth, nor do they want too many people to find out the truth. And you may look at Article 408 entitled The Control Scientific Environment Used to Hide Planet X and Its Effects for More Details. In this way, they show us the truth by allowing us to see these images, but they never intended for us to take these, uh, this truth at face value and thus understand what we were actually seeing. So when the truth in these images is observed and understood, that truth becomes a threat to them. And they use various tactics to try and refute it. However, God, the creator of the universe, wants people to know the truth because he is the truth and wants people to know that we are in the end of time and that we need his help. So, in conclusion, the Planet X system is real. It is here and is having real effects on the Earth. It is thus illogical to suggest that it is a hologram. It is also illogical to suggest that ocean recession events or explained by the moon. The fact that the truth regarding planet X is so vehemently and repeatedly attacked is evidence that it is real. If it wasn't real, it wouldn't be a threat to the powers that be. And those are the references. This is Dr. Claudia Albers, Planet X physicist. Thank you for watching.